Okay guys, so this week we've been working on the audio system and uh, we got it rewired coming from the battery with two gauge wire. You can go back and see how we wired that in with the bus bars at the battery and things like that. And also the wire we used. <sighs> what you do? I saw the, the other video. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, you can check that out and it's, there's a lot of good information about wiring. That's where we pulled out the dash, lowered the windows, rewired the light bar, and things like that. But now we're rewiring the stereo. So y'all stay tuned, and we'll get right into this. So to get this in, I was, first I sprayed a little PD meat blaster to live up the two. Okay. Oh, so much of that. <laughs> this is why you don't touch capacitors. One. Boom! <laughs> he just sees the broom. Ha! So the first thing, remove the ground off the battery. But you have to remove both grounds is in our case. So our son is going to turn the key to discharge the capacitor. It's discharged. The lights slowly turned off. Okay, so now I'm going to check to make sure our system is discharged. So I'm going to put it on the positive right here and the negative right here. Why is it going up? I guess the capacitor is building up static charge. Yeah. But that shouldn't be nothing that kills us. Okay, Brandon is measuring his... How much? Two gauge ground wire. This is the installation we have for the amp so far. So we have our... These are 400 amp. We're only going to be pushing about 150 amp. And then we have a one ferret capacitor, and it's going to go on our amplifier, so you'll see later in the video. See your connector? You strip off what your connector is. We did this in the, uh, is that, yeah, that's about right. So, be, don't push it too hard, you'll cut all your wires. Come on. We have plenty of ground wire so you can screw up as many times as possible. Can you pull it loose? Yeah. Oh, I, I got the inside. There, there you go. And then you put your connector on. Does mm -hmm. it fit? Let's see. I got the other one to fit. Now you turn that the way of your twist. You turn it the way your yeah. twist. And does it go all the way down? Yep. Okay. That's these two stragglers. Well, we can cut the two stragglers off. Ah, there you go. Or we'll heat shrink them to the uh, thing. Oh, yeah. There you go. And is it good? You going to do it one more again? Yep. Okay, now you have to... Now the other side. What's your crimp cable look like? Close up, and this is why you get the crimpers. Evenly crimps them. Yep. Now we have to heat shrink. Mama's out here looking for my drink cup. Yeah, it's in the cheap. This thing's hot. It's on the fender. Inside. <laughs> it is black. It blends. Everything in that Jeep is black. Thank you, baby. <laughs> 
Okay, I did the ground. I did the positive. I'm letting him do the negative. It's high enough. Yeah. I figured. <laughs> hey, look, it fits. Mm hmm. Got a match. Like a glove. Just Make sure it's straight. Oh well. You don't want it to be a uh, wrong angle. Yeah, go ahead and put the outside on. It's tight enough. Okay. Now you put your ground wire on your uh, bus bar. And we should be good. All right, going to bed. You're going to bed after this? Yep. Uh, are you going to bed? No, I'm not. So these are our going to our cap. We're going to have to make the ground too. And then uh, we're going to have to buy more connectors because we're almost out. Yeah, sadly. So we're now putting the positive on our cap and we're going to run over to our bus bar. Wait, is this all the wires that are going into this? No, we have amp wires coming off of it. Oh, okay. I need to loosen it. Oh. No, that's all the wires going into that, yes. Oh, that's what I just said. <laughs> I said, is this all the wires that are going on? Yeah, on thing? the cap, yeah. That's yeah. all the wires going on the cap. And uh, right now we have no power to our bus bar, so we're good. Yes, I can see, touch them. Yeah, you can touch them. Why is it negative? There you go. Let your friends lick the, after you power them up, let, them, let your friends lick them. Well, if they get too annoying, I'll just tell them to touch them. Oh. And this is our ground wire. Yeah, there's something biting my back. Mosquito. Mosquitoes. I'm in shorts. I haven't felt a single mosquito. Oh, man. seem to like me. So. Our cap is wired. Say it's pretty tight? Yeah, it looks good, Brian. Now we have to do uh, amp wires coming off of it. Ah. Okay, so now he's connecting the wires. We're doing a one ohm mono on this amp. Wait. Oh, okay. And if you see, we've combined two wires together because we don't have the proper size wire. So we're going to be improper. Okay, now we're running conduit uh, on our speaker wire to hopefully protect it from any damage. I mean, he's going to tape that up. You don't have to tape it in all sections, just a little tape. Okay, our son is now connecting his remotes together for both amps. And then he, we have one remote ran all the way from the stereo. Yeah. And we're going to put these in one connector and then the other wire on the other side. These are heat shrink connectors and uh, I highly recommend them. Yeah, let me cut some more off of them. You notice my son stripped way too much off, but he's going to slide in the connector. These are heat shrinks, so it, it works will, better. Except it goes all the way through the other side. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Until you try to put the other wire in. Now, we've ran this along our power wire. Our power is coming down one side of the Jeep, our audio is going to come down the other. And we're going to put this all in conduit. And these wires are going to be ran in the same conduit as the power wire going to the amp. You good? Yeah. Now we turned off the fan so we can apply heat. This should make it cooler in here. Be sure not to touch the end of the heat gun to the wires. Oh no, I'm not. Is the glue coming out? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Should be translucent and the glue come out. Yeah. That should probably be good. Now we're running our amp wire and our remote wire in the same conduit from the front of the book to the back of the Jeep. It's a lot of fun, huh, Brian? Yeah. The great thing about Jeeps is they have that little ties. You can tie it Anywhere. underneath the door ledge there. And it just keeps the wires tucked nice and out of the way. 
Okay, so we got the sub installed and it's bouncing things around, but yeah, now we have to rerun wires because this is uh, our current configuration there. We don't have the highs on, so you can't hear. So we won't hopefully not get uh, demonetized. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, even though you almost broke the civil for box four times. <laughs> almost dropped it a few times. I mean, when we put all this stuff back, they'll, they'll tuck it up. I know, but you, we want our conduit over to protect the wires, just like the factory wires. Alright, let me grab this. Brandon's uh, rerun all of his uh, audio cable now. Yeah. We've got the subwoofer and the rear speakers working. We have to get the front speakers wired to the amp. Oh, and we nice. have to get conduit all over, over the wires and get him tucked up nicely so he's not kicking them. You like it? You comfortable? Oh yeah, it's really fun. Putting the last of the conduit in, except for these wires down here. We have the amps wired, and it sounds like the SCAR has an RCA problem. We've got all the audio cable ran in conduit, and all our RCAs from our radio back, back through the fender, and then back to here. And there's our amps on the box with the subwoofer. We're gonna have to bolt this box down, but Brian's been doing a hell of a job. Charging the cap. We have a jumper cable on our positive connection. Oh, look at that. We're all the way up and the battery's charging. We only went down to 12.3. And then, after we get this charged, do not ch touch this. Because it is a cap, which is slowly discharging. I thought you took this off. It's at 9 volts now. We'll charge it again. There we are at 12. And then we put that on there. And it holds its voltage. Oh. We're going to put a... Uh, something on there to keep the wire off the grounds over here because we don't want it to ground out. But this keeps you from blowing your fuse. We got the amp wire and things like that and the, the uh, use of jump cables for our amp wires worked out perfectly. Uh, it was cheap. But the 2 gauge wire was, uh, it was a little hard to get that into the uh, SCAR amplifier that only accepts a uh, 4 gauge wire, is what they say. It wasn't that hard to get in there. That's not what she said. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> and the bus bars, we got bus bars at the battery and we have bus bars for our amp system where we wired our capacitor in, we have two amplifiers, the JL600 Marine, and then the SCAR 800 Marine, which smoked out. So we had the uh, SCAR SVR smoke out, or actually the, the surround crack, and now the amp. Uh, it actually, my, my son said he was driving and then the Jeep filled up with smoke. SCAR has claimed responsibility for this and they are replacing them. But uh, the amp point rent lasted six months before smoking out. It is, I think it was a user, which would be our son. Well, you know, it shouldn't have smoked out, but we did move it from the hot floor that was cooking feet to the amp box, which was much cooler. Yeah, I was burning my feet. Um, now, probably. Because we took the carpet out. We got to do something about that. Because it was, y'all have any suggestions? Because we're trying to figure it out. Yeah. We don't want to put carpet back in. But my son's thinking about doing that. But I was in the back of the car and it burned my feet. It was something underneath, I don't know, what is that? Oh, uh, that's the muffler and the Cadillac converter yeah. run down this side. And also the transmission. Burned my feet. 
So we need to figure that out. And I he, just put AC in it. Yeah. Well, and he said it's cool, but it's not cool. Well, he said before the AC, he had the windows down, so it really cooled it down a lot. Right. And then we put the AC in. All he's getting is the AC air. Problems arise. Yeah. So uh, doing bed liner in your floor will work without AC, with the windows down. And if you're up north, you're great. But down here in Florida or Texas, probably going to be problematic with the heat. So, or California, or California, anywhere in the in, anywhere in the north, Georgia. It was right. south. South, I mean, no, yeah, south. <laughs> Georgia was I mean, that was toasty when I was doing uh, AFT up there. But it's getting chatty. But hopefully this was helpful, and uh, you know, I gave you ideas for your project. Also, if you're looking for great eats, good recipes. Go check out this the girl's blog. All kinds of good recipes out there. Just go to the recipe section, or you can go to the DIY section and see some of the crap I wrote. But she writes much better than me, a lot better. And plus, you know, we had uh, embarrassing me. Uh, well, I might be trying as red as my dress. <laughs> Brandon, uh, in the cheese ball recipe, you could go see the bloopers of that one. His friend came over. They devoured the cheese ball. I, I got barely any. Oh, I got one. One little chippy. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and then yesterday she made some enchiladas, or was it? No. It was. It's a future recipe, so. I can't. Don't make me see it. Oh, yeah, it's a future recipe. I'm sorry. Enchiladas are tonight. And you can see that recipe also. But his friend came over. And ate almost all of them. He ate half the pan of enchilada, uh, not enchiladas, but they were, they were good. It was a casserole. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's got a lot of secrets in it. So y'all stay tuned for that recipe and also other recipes. And if you like our channel, hit that like button. Let's put it down there or for this video. Not our channel, our video. If you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell for the ad reminders. And y'all please take care. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness. Chatty Bye. Cappy. You're so chatty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> totally. I'm going to get you want if you come because I'm going to sit here rolling 20. He said he was going to go take this into the, uh, the car wash? Yeah, the car wash to get it all, all cleaned out. Well, no, he, he said he was going to do that. He, he went to the grocery store to pick up because he wants your enchiladas tonight. And Brian's going to get what he's wanting if he doesn't come home soon because mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and be rolling 20 <laughs> on my casserole. There's cat litter everywhere out here. I know. <gasps> so we fixed all the oil leaks on the Jeep and. Now our son dumped uh, how much oil in the bottom of the floor? I don't know, two quarts. <laughs> it was oh, a lot. I don't know why it's old oil. So, so there's cat litter down there right now. A lot of oil down there. Cat cat litter is a great thing to pull up oil. Get me off camera. <laughs>